with free gourmet meals, in-house massages, dry cleaning on campus, and 18 weeks of paid maternity leaves, Google is known for its extensive list of perks. By providing these, Google wants its people's programs to achieve efficiency, promote community, and spur innovation. Additionally, a doctor regularly visits the Google campus so Googlers don't have to leave the office for a checkup. The company is also known for its 20% time, the one day a week that employees can take simply to work on something that interests them. Google has many awesome services and fun features. Here are the best examples. Let's take a closer look. Build with Chrome is the largest Lego set the world has ever seen. Developed with the latest web technology, Build is a place for everyone to imagine, create, and explore building with Lego bricks online. Google Maps now allow to see underwater sea life, coral reefs, and wrecks. Other Google services called Mars and Sky Maps offer visible imagery view, infrared and elevation views of the red planet, as well as stars, constellations, galaxies, or planets. In Google Maps, search for Police Telephone Box to see the Earl's Court Station. After that, go to the location's street view and check out the interior and the exterior of the Doctor Who's TARDIS on the sidewalk. If you search for Atari Breakout in Images or type Zerg Rush in the Google search, your page will be transformed into the iconic game of your choice. If you can't find foreign characters in your keyboard, you can draw it in Google Translate. Google Docs now include some functions to help you translate individual cells in a spreadsheet from one language to another or detect what language is being used. When you search fun facts, random facts, or I'm feeling curious on Google, you'll be presented with an answer to a random question in a dynamic box. If you enter Google in 1998, you'll see the first version of Google. The company has come a long way, and it's incredible. Searching Do the Harlem Shake turns YouTube video search results into a very familiar internet flash mob. Easy to remember search queries can help you to easily convert currencies units of measurements, and temperature, set timers or notifications, calculate travel, time, and distance, find out local time, count calories, instantly translate, or learn how to pronounce long words. Google Fonts is an internet catalog of available fonts where designers can learn about them and copy the code required to use new fonts in their web pages. Google lets you use a wide array of services for free in exchange for information about you. But what does Google really know? If you have location history turned on, Google will track where you go. Google will also track your search in a bunch of different services and provide search results based on your history. Google can serve you interest-based ads because it has a bunch of data about you, including your age, gender, languages you speak, and what it thinks your interests are. Google also keeps track of what devices you use and when you were last active on them to make you feel less paranoid and protected against unsanctioned access. But if you ever want to break ties or just make a copy of your data, you can use Google Takeout to export everything to a zip file. Ever since Google launched Street View in 2007, the project team photographed 20 petabytes of data, comprising photos taken along 5 million miles of roads covering 39 countries and about 3,000 cities. The first five American cities were captured on a 5 megapixel camera. Now the company uses a device with a 75 megapixel sensor. Google Cardboard, a fold-it-yourself virtual reality viewer, can take you anywhere you want to go. 
Just slip your phone with cardboard app inside, tap the Spark button, and fly around Google Earth. Take walking tours or examine cultural artifacts close up. App Store is already full of You Are There games, tours, and activities. Google claims that GPAs are worthless as a hiring criterion. Google famously used to ask everyone for a transcript, GPAs, and test scores, but they don't anymore, unless you're just a few years out of school. Nowadays at Google, they have teams where 14% of their employees haven't gone to college. <laughs> 